I am Mohammed Khalid Zubair. I made this video for all stellar marinated chicken breasts and fried chicken. Total, 8 hours, 15 minutes. Prep, 5 minutes inactive, 8 hours. Cook, 10 minutes. Yield, 4 servings. Ingredients, 1 to 2 tablespoons vinegar, like cider, balsamic, or red wine 2 to 3 teaspoons dried herbs, like thyme, oregano, rosemary, or crumbled bay leaf 1 to 2 tablespoons mustard, whole grain or Dijon 1 to 2 tablespoon garlic or onion powder, optional 1 fourth cup extra, virgin olive oil, kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper, boneless skinless chicken breast, each about 6 sounds. Directions 1. Put the vinegar, herbs, mustard powders if using an oil in a large re sealable plastic bag. Close the bag and shake to combine all the ingredients. Open the bag, drop in the chicken breast in the bag. Close and shake the bag to coat evenly. Freeze for up to two weeks. 2. Thaw in the refrigerator overnight, under cold, running water, or in the microwave at 30% power for one minute at a time. 3. Heat a grill or grill pan. When the grill is hot, Place the chicken on the grill, and cook for about 4 minutes per side, or until cooked through. You can also bake the thawed chicken in a 375 degree F thought of heat oven for 15 minutes, or until cooked through. Fried chicken, total, 50 minutes. Prep, 15 minutes. Inactive, 15 minutes. Cook, 20 minutes. Yield, 16 pieces. Ingredients. 2 whole free, range, organic chicken's vegetable oil of choice, for frying the chicken 6 cups all, purpose flour 5 tablespoons salt 4 tablespoons ground black pepper 2 tablespoons garlic powder 1 tablespoon onion powder 2 tablespoons cayenne pepper 2 cups buttermilk. Directions. 1. Cut the whole chickens into four breasts, four thighs, four legs, and four wings and set aside. 2. Preheat your oil, in either a heavy pan on the stove or a deep fryer, to 325 degree F. Dot of heat. 3. In a large bowl, combine the flour, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and cayenne pepper until thoroughly mixed. Set aside. 4. Pour the buttermilk into another bowl large enough for the chicken to be immersed in the buttermilk. 5. Prepare your dredging station. Place your chicken in a bowl, next to that, your bowl of buttermilk, and next to that, your dry mixture. 6. Take your breasts, lightly dust them with your flour mixture. Then dip them in the buttermilk until they are coated, and then place them in the flour mixture. 7. Take the breasts that are in the flour mixture and aggressively push the flour mixture into the wet chicken. Make sure that the chicken is very thoroughly coated, or you will not achieve the crust and crunch you are looking for. Gently place the breasts in your hot oil. 8. Next. Repeat the dredging steps with your other pieces of chicken in disorder, thigh, leg then wing. 9. When you place the last wing into the fryer, you should have 16 pieces of chicken in the oil. Set the timer for 15 minutes. 10. After 15 minutes, take a probe thermometer and check the temperature of the breast. If it reads 180 degree F. He ate. All of your chicken is done. Keep in mind that it will continue to cook after it has been removed from the fryer. 11. Remove the chicken from the oil and let it drain for 5 minutes. Let cool for an additional 10 minutes before serving. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Channel name, Holland to Bear.